Welcome back to Get Out the House Go Fish. Today I'll be going over the installation of a DIY boat guide project. You know I looked online at different boat guide kits and uh, the ones I found they were anywhere from $60 to over $200. Well I went to Home Depot and got everything I needed for less than $20. I have the McLean 14 foot boat trailer that I purchased from Academy Sports. In this video I'll be showing you with some PVC and some basic tools you can save money by making your own boat guide for your trailer. So if you're ready, let's get started. These are the items I purchased to do this project. This is a DIY, so if you see a better or different way for mounting your guides, then go for it. I'm just showing you the way I did this and who knows, I might change it up at a later time. So. The items I purchased were, first, I got four stainless steel 3 8 inch hex bolts, nuts and washers. I chose to go with a 10 foot, one and one quarter inch PVC 40 pipe. Then I got two 90 degree one and one quarter inch elbows and two caps. I thought about uh, C-clamps, but, uh, you know, I'm still going to have to drill into the PVC to keep it from spinning, you know, from turning uh, when it's connected to the trailer. So I thought, you know what, instead of C-clamps, I'm just going to go with some uh, cable ties. Uh, I had some cable ties at home. Uh, they are weather and UV resistance. And so uh, I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and use those. All right, once you get home, first thing you want to do is cut that 10-foot PVC in half. Another option though, if you don't have a tool to cut the PVC, just measure everything out first and then when you go to, to the hardware store, have them cut the PVC pipe to your specs. A lot of the time, they'll have a pipe cutter in that location that you can use yourself and that way you can go ahead and cut everything and then bring it home. Now that we have two five foot pieces, we just need to cut them one more time but first, we have to figure out where and how we will mount them to the trailer. So, I've chosen this spot on the trailer. Now I'm going to measure to see how far out I want the PVC before placing the 90 degree elbows. I decided to run mine out 12 inches. I cut the PVC and without gluing, I stuck all the pieces together and held the L-shaped guides in place and the location I would mount them to make sure I would have good clearance. Next, you're going to mark the frame on the trailer and drill your mounting holes for the bolts. Then, you're going to drill the holes in the PVC. I used a step bit on the opposite side of the PVC so it would be easier to access the bolts to tighten. Make sure everything is good and tight. Now you can glue your PVC together and if you have a level, definitely use it. I added the cable ties on the outside and that's pretty much it. I hope your project goes as smooth and I hope this video was able to help someone out or give them some ideas on how they would want to install their own trailer boat guides. I want to thank everyone once again for subscribing and till next time. Yeah, that's a good fish.